In the recent past, retired soldier Major General Kasiria Gwanga has waged a lone war on timber dealers, accusing them of allegedly destroying the environment in Mitiana district. This is no joke. I'm telling you, nature, the country is being destroyed by those simple traders. In fact, some of them are foreigners. They're not from here. However, while the Uganda Timber Growers Association, which has license from National Forestry Authority to operate in forest reserves, supports Kassidia's passion, they disagree with his methods. Instead of doing what he does for us, we go into the plantation and plant trees so that we conserve, protect the forest, and then provide uh, wood for poles, for timber, and for firewood. Uganda has seen a reduction of its forest cover from 24% in the 1990s to 8% today. However, while reforestation with exotic tree species has been proposed as a means of replenishing the country's forest cover, some environmentalists believe some tree species like pine and eucalyptus have devastating effects on the ecosystem. It does not, as I said, support any diversity, any biodiversity underneath because in its nature it is the acidic. And in terms of economics, I don't think it benefits uh, people. Baga manga baza wo buto onde wansi. Kati wo buto onde wansi emiti jeba simba. Ate baji te manga baji tuwa lukufuna musente. Feno tu vona abona tu fenyonta ne njala. However, NFA says the arguments about the negative effects of pine and eucalyptus trees are not based on fact. The science is simple. Evapotranspiration. You have done this in basic science. As the trees lose water, they keep peaking. So it's a cyclic. So when you cut off the tree, the surface of the, of, 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 of the, of the tree are the leaves. And that's where we know evaporation takes place. So as they evaporate transpire, they are peaking water. And that process goes on. If you remove the tree, then the process will not go on because the hydrogen bonds that keep holding the water, bringing it up, up to the leaf surface will be blocked. So the water table. Dr. Patrick Biakagaba, an environmental scientist, cautions that not every exotic tree is conducive to the ecosystem. We need to make sure that we grow the right species in the right place without having any negative feedback on the natural ecosystem, on the natural ecosystems. And this is possible if the enforcing agencies, especially the district local governments, but also the other important actors within the forestry sector uh, and the National Environment Authority. Uganda's population is projected to reach 7.5 million by 2040, which pretends a high demand for wood. This means that stakeholders must agree on the right exotic tree species to be introduced in our ecosystem. Rita Kanya, 